Do you like GTD? Good, you should. It's one of the better productivity systems on the planet. And I wanted to make a system for you to utilize in a Taskade. Jumping right in, I have a new untitled project and I'm gonna call this GTD Workflow. And I'm gonna change this background to whatever I want and then make the emoji whatever I want. Let's let's do a little checkbox here. We like getting things done. So what you can do is focus on the different parts of GTD, which is capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. So capturing is really just making some place for you to put your inbox. Clarifying is putting things like subtasks and, and figuring out what project it needs to be in and whether it's an action or a reference. Organize is putting everything into its right place, which is basically having things like the due date put down, delegating projects to other people, filing away reference material, and sorting your tasks. So the first pillar of that is capture. So in here, we're gonna add a new block and you can pretty much just pick paragraph. And then this is an H1, which is good. And we're gonna call this one inbox. So what I would recommend you do is put something like literally an inbox tray as the emoji here, and then add a new block, paragraph. And then I want you to call this one priority number one or priority one, whichever one you want. And we can do exclamation points. The two ones is a bang bang. Or we can do something that shows cases that it's really important, like a rocket or something. Like it's, oh, it's a rocket ship, I gotta get this done. And then add another block, paragraph, and do priority two. And then we can add another emoji in the same way. So colon, and then do a little checkbox. And then we can do future. And then we can do a calendar. So then what I want you to do now is take the inbox, put it to the very bottom, have future next, have priority one at the top, and have the priority two, then go to priority one, like this. This is the order that I want you to have. So you have all these different things now. In order to make this work well, we're going to need to make sure that we have a bunch of different folds here. As we can see, the nice part about this is that the action page and the list page are gonna work well for us. So what we would do in this GTD workflow is that anytime we'd have a new task idea, I'd insert work task here and then set a due date to like today or something. And that would tell us that there, that if we go back here, it would also say it here. It's whatever you prefer from a view perspective, but we wanna make sure this is top down. So basically what we're gonna do is insert side hustle task here. We'd basically be capturing these ideas and then clarifying other things. Like if I had a side task to do with it, I'd press enter and then tab it over. Say example subtask here, and then if you want to, you can do slash checkbox, change all these to checkboxes if you want. It's all about what you want them to be. Do you want this to be a sub checkbox as well? And then you have the option to side things as completed in the future. So I think utilizing the checkbox functionality for all these could work to your advantage. It's just what you really want from a capturing perspective. You want to capture and then clarify whether it's a task or not. So that's why I changed it from paragraph to check because that's the clarification part of everything and adding subtests as well. And then after you have a bunch of different things, what you do is essentially organize them by dropping them into different things like this. And then if we wanna make all these checkboxes just for kicks and giggles, then essentially these would become task stuff here. So now anytime I'd make a task example, so let's say take out the trash, it's more of a priority two tomorrow not as important. And then let's say we already know off the top of the bat, priority one, right, new, job, LinkedIn post, say it's really important to you and you need to get it done now. We're organizing different things by having them be put into these different buckets. And you also could delegate certain tasks. So say I had a video editor. So it's like edit YouTube video. And I had that in my inbox. I could then delegate it in the organized section to somebody else. I'm gonna assign it to myself, but let's pretend that I get somebody else. And then as you can see on this page as well, on the default view, you can see the different types of things you got going on from the different sections. And in the board view, it's very similar, where priority one is all the way to the side, and it's in the opposite order of what you had. So you have the ability to sort them from A to Z, or sort them manually. I really prefer sorting manually. So if I go back here, we'll see that it got a lot of whack, so I'm gonna have to resort it. And then in order to do something that's important all the time, what we're at, kinda wanna do is in a priority one, puts the most important thing out of reflection, which is a weekly GTD review. So this is where you'd basically review all the stuff in your inbox, organize things that uh, need to have due dates changed and that could be delegated and all that sort of stuff. 
And what you would do is set it to the specific day of the week where you want it to. So let's pretend that it's May 15th, which is a Sunday, and we can repeat this every week. So then in that section, you'd go through and take a look at what's in your inbox, what's in your future thinking, did any of the due dates change, did I complete everything? So say you did this, and then you decide, hey, I wanna hide completed. Now the nice thing about Tascade is you can untick and retick hide completed at any point in time. And you'd go through that weekly review and also hopefully take some notes on how you did and how you can optimize your weeks moving forward. Now, the best part about action here is that after we're done with the inbox side of things, what we can do is really hone in on the different priority tasks. So by toggling these off, we'd allow for us to really focus on priority one and two, and then not have to worry about anything in the other folds. I like the fact that this is something that is possible within Taskade specifically, because if you don't have a really honed in look at what tasks you need to get done, even in this case, say we have multiple priority two tasks, we need to focus on priority one task first, so we can really hone in on these and then fold that and unfold this when you're focusing on the next level of tests. And what's important to understand is that your mind subliminally will be distracted by the more input that you give it. So we wanna only have what really matters showcased to us on this case. I always like to, especially in the case of Notion, have the task that I'm doing open. So since this isn't a page and it's just a block, that's not the case. Like if I could open this as something, I would just have that opened and then have the rest be shown after I clicked out to look at what I need to do next. What you possibly need to do next is click this video to see how you can improve your productivity even more.